Okay, so I just woke up. It's like 8.50 and I went to sleep like 5. So I don't know why I woke up so early. I set my alarm for 12.30 p.m. And that's when I was supposed to wake up. But I have trouble sleeping in on the weekend. So I'm just going to, you know, start getting ready now. So I'm going to shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, and I'll see you at my vanity. But for now, I got to really get up. Yeah, see y'all in a sec. Okay, so I'm showered and dressed. And now I'm about to go upstairs and get some breakfast, you know. First, I gotta feed my fish. Look at my little fish. His name is Dorothy, guys. Like from Dorothy on Elmo. But yeah, I'm gonna clean his tank today when I get back home. Among other things, I'm gonna feed him. just put um i just made some vanilla almond milk well i didn't make it i just poured it in a cup that i'm gonna drink out of <laughs> and then for my yogurt i have granola three scoops of vanilla yogurt and half a banana and it has some honey drizzled over it and yeah i wanted to make breakfast because i usually don't get to i don't, usually don't have time to make breakfast in the morning before i leave for work so I just go to work and then I'd eat lunch or something. But you know, it's Saturday and I'm finally here so I can eat some breakfast and chill. So yeah, after I eat some breakfast and watch my show, which will probably be in like NCIS or a movie I see, um, then I'm gonna read for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna get dressed and start my day. See you in a bit. <laughs> brush my teeth, moisturized, um, and then I washed dishes, ate some breakfast, and um, I read about 15 minutes of my book. I said I was going to read 30, but I can't really get through this book. It's kind of hard. Um, it's called Serafina and the Splintered Heart by Robert Beatty, and it's, it's, a, it's not even a young adult book. It's, it's probably like a lower age group because the girl, like the main character is like 12 years old and that's just not my age group. So I don't take much interest in what a 12 year old would do. But I think besides that, it would be a pretty okay book. Um, but yeah, it's just taking me forever to get through. I started it like um, at the beginning of like Sunday or whatever and today's Saturday. In fact, what's today's date? Today is Saturday, June 17th, and it is currently 10.30 a.m., so it's been two hours since I woke up. But yeah, so now I am going to do my makeup, and I'm going to get dressed. I'm thinking about going 
to like center city to spend the day and just hang out because i like never do that because i just don't have the time but yeah. literally when i was showering this morning i came across the centipede well actually i saw it last night and then it's just been in the same place and i was like i'm not gonna try and handle it tonight because i have no energy like i'm super tired because i went to sleep like 5 a.m i was like i'm super tired i'd rather have energy to deal with it because if i miss and then i have to go to sleep i'm not gonna be able to go to sleep so i had energy this morning and then i went to get in the shower and i noticed the centipede was still there and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this after I brushed my teeth and everything. It was still there, but then it started moving and it saw me. So it went back into this little like crawl space in the corner, in a random corner of the bathroom. And you know, it's hard to get them when they're there. It's like 11 a.m. and the sirens are going off. Well, it's not 11, it's 10 40, but still, it's very early. But yeah that centipede and I were at a standoff and it kept like moving up and down in the in like the corner of the doorway and I couldn't get it with like a slip or anything so I just sprayed it with this like with this glass cleaner and guys it did nothing like I thought the centipede would die but it did nothing and i kind of knew it wasn't dead because like usually bugs like their bodies shrivel up a little bit when you like kill them with some sort of like chemical or something this one did it and i was like you know what let me give it the benefit of the doubt and then it started moving again and i was like no so i sprayed it with this other um bathroom cleaner thing and it's like it's like for the bathtub and it like foams up and it like like kept it in place and like with all the soap and everything and then it was really dead but i'm just like like you know i really didn't want to have to kill the bug like if it was just gonna stay there you know like in sleep or chill or whatever and it didn't move in front of me i'd be okay but it did it moved in front of me and i was just like no we're not gonna do this i'm not gonna worry about also like the fact that i sprayed it and i missed the first time i was like i'm not gonna let a revenge bug like roam around here because that's just not what i'm about to do so i was just like yeah you gotta die i'm sorry i tried my best to you know preserve your life but it's not gonna happen so it had to go i'm sorry god i didn't mean to kill one of your creatures but like I just can't do, can't do bugs. Like wasps, <laughs> why did I say that like that? They, they can like continue stinging. And they're like very vengeful animals. Like if you harm them, if you try to harm them and you don't and they survive, like you gotta, you gotta be put on a watch list because they will come back after you. So, I don't know if, the centipede i don't even know if it's a millipede or a centipede but y'all i was not about to sit there and count them legs to determine whether it was an insect with less legs or more legs i was not about to do that <laughs> Thank you. 
to get ready all right y'all this is my ootd <laughs> okay so i'm about to go to cinder city and hang out i have something that has a tag on it that i bought but they never took the tag off so now i gotta go it's been like months so hopefully they still take it off but if they don't it's fine it was like really cheap i mean even though <sighs> they need to take it off because i paid for it you know even if it's really cheap so yeah i will see you guys downtown bye hey guys so i just got back from my um center city excursion and i didn't film as much as i wanted to outside like i went to macy's i didn't film that i went to um i went to claire's and there was a bunch of other stores in this other mall and then i went to chipotle and auntie Anne's, and some of the stuff i got from macy's so i got this dress i got this dress a while ago but what happened was, uh, let me show you. What happened was the tag was like, the security tag was still on it, the one with the ink. And so I never got to wear it. So, um, and I got it like three months, two, three months ago. So, you know, I got that taken off, removed today. And then I got this green dress. Oh, she folded it up so nice, it's so cute. Um, yeah and it's like so beautiful it's like the sage green with floral and a lace detail on the top so it's so cute i can't wait to wear this but um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna wear this to because i wouldn't wear this work or 
classes which are online so I'm not really sure and then I got some uh, cosmetic and skincare items so I'm not too big on buying skincare from like unknown brands but I saw this and I was just like okay maybe I'll get it you know my under eye my under eyes can't get any worse I hope because if it gets worse and then I look back at this video I'm gonna cry but yeah so I got these and they have hyaluronic acid and rose water and then I got this sheer and glow bronzer um yeah because my bronzer is like running really low and I really like the shade and I feel like this shade kind of matches it it's a little bit lighter but you know it's okay and then I got this uh, green jade roller I have one back home but like I keep forgetting at home so I'm just like you know what let me get one for school as well and it comes with a little blush shot thing so yeah yeah so that was oh and then I got this headband from this headband from Claire's and usually like I do the buy three get three for free at Claire's but I was like I feel like I'm starting to out grow Claire's because it's like a lot of colorful things and I used to be really big into headbands like I used to have headbands in every single color red yellow green blue purple bandana scrunchies at any color you can admit you can imagine in like any accessory and I had it but I'm just becoming like more like geared towards neutral colors so I just picked up this black one to replace this one that I have but yeah so that's really it for this video um and if you watch to the end you'll see my mini Sephora haul so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay to see the Sephora haul and if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see my next video which will be coming out soon bye hey guys welcome back to my channel radiance by randy today i'm gonna be doing a mini haul of some things that i got while out shopping today so first i'm gonna start with my stuff from sephora okay so the first thing i got was this concealer by born this way and um I really liked it. I was trying it on in the store and I liked that it was full coverage um, so it can help hide my under eye circles which is something I'm very um, <laughs> I'm very insecure about and then I also got a powder to help it like seem blendlessly for those days where I don't want to wear my tinted moisturizer and I just want to wear my concealer um, and then I got oh wait this is the this is contour so this is the contour by tower and then this is the powder by laura mercier and then i have i don't know how to pronounce this but um it is a black owned brand and it's a um, skin tint uh, moisturizer and it has some sort of spf in it i hope because that's what the lady said <laughs> um so yeah and then i also went to the drugstore because drugstore makeup is always better and less expensive in my opinion so first i got this um wet and wild mega liner and it's my favorite um it's one of my favorite eyeliners actually um my favorite eyeliner would be this nk liquid eyeliner but i feel like the way that it peels off is like kind of inconvenient at times but i also like the way that it peels off when i'm making my when i'm removing my makeup and so yeah i just feel like this eyeliner gives me better control when i'm doing my wing when i'm doing like a big wing or like a, even a more angled wing um and then i got my elf primer and i got this um, I have pencil for my under eye and then I got some more brushes because I need more brushes 
yeah.